Hey Cancer, this is Ascension Empress with your August 2019 tarot reading and I pray that you all are well. May peace and blessings be upon you all. I know this energy has been a lot. So yes, my prayers are with anyone who is really, really feeling this Cancer energy, especially from those eclipses that we had. Um, those are still very prevalent, especially for the next, I would say, up until January especially. And then I believe we'll have some more eclipses so yes just stay strong my cancers and a lot of you have actually been you're not a mutable sign but you've been pretty mutable with this energy because it's like you kind of understand that you don't have a choice but to kind of go with the flow and to take care of yourself at this point wow <laughs> so see we have the queen of pentacles popping out so with that being said i'm just going to go ahead and get started with your reading i'll be using the right away tarot deck and just take what resonates with you this is for sun moon or rising or whatever placement that you have that resonates with you and yes so the queen of pentacles to me is speaking that you know you could have someone an earth sign capricorn virgo or taurus that is um very prevalent in your life right now but i'm getting that this is your energy of you focusing on what's real what's what makes sense what's practical um looking at things objectively really trying to solidify what makes you feel secure and stable i'm getting some of you are looking for a better work opportunity as well it's interesting because i believe pisces you know they're also another water sign that got a lot of earth energy um for their august reading so if you have any pisces in your chart i would definitely check that out This is also speaking to Virgo season as well. And going into the past, we have the King of Wands. So you could have been dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, or this could just be someone going into the past that was very passionate. Um, but I'm getting... This person is looking away into the past. This person is focused on the past. And you may have realized, like, I'm focused on my pinnacle. I'm focused on what makes me feel secure and stable at this point, especially with all of these planets um, opposing or these, what should I say, significant planets opposing your sign. And then you have these eclipses and you're like, you just don't have no time for games. If you want to focus on the past and, you know, I'm getting some people could have been dealing with somebody um that was just really wishy-washy around the time of mercury retrograde and then once mercury was in cancer while it was in retrograde you kind of realize like no nah, i don't have time and i believe a lot of the times just don't have time because when you go back and forth like that it really shows your intentions so when you come back saying that wasn't my intention we don't believe you <laughs> Mm. So going forward, we have the hangman. So I'm getting cancer. You guys are, of course, with this Queen of Pentacles here too, looking at things from a different perspective moving forward. Um, there may be a delay uh, in what you are expecting to manifest. We shall see. Wow. <laughs> A purposeful delay with this that might be the title <laughs> that might be the title with this six of wands here is beautiful because when I was shuffling before I even started recording I was just trying to get all the cards shuffle you know and I always shuffle while I'm doing the reading as well it's just a habit which I think is a good habit but this kept popping out it kept popping out the six of wands and usually I would shuffle like I don't know who to start with <laughs> Um, cause cancer actually already did your reading, but it's been a while and I feel like the energy has shifted. So I decided to just go ahead and record again. And yes, so I'm getting that you may be recognized on the job with the six of wands and the queen of pentacles above it. Um, maybe getting a promotion promotion. So you may have to move forward looking at things from a different perspective now because you have new responsibilities. And it's interesting because I've been talking to um, a couple of my coworkers and just 
reflecting in general on how, you know, the bigger the blessing, the bigger the responsibility. The more we pray for, the more we need to be prepared for. So I'm getting that you realize that you're like, I'm you, you've been praying for more. You've been praying for things to come together and make you feel secure with this queen of pentacles. And then it's coming, it's coming. And this is your focus as well. Underlying the reading victory is here, but I'm getting, if you really, really take advantage of this hangman energy and don't get, I would say not distracted, don't get discouraged by it. This is here for you. This six of wands is here for you. Wow. Wow, Cancer. Wow. <laughs> so overlaying the reading, you have the chariot card. This is so beautiful. This is beautiful. Like, for you to have the chariot overlaying and then underlying the reading, you got the six of wands. And then the middle, you got this boss. <laughs> I mean, talk. it could be your boss, but also I'm getting this down-to-earth energy, um, a mother figure as well for some of you. Wow. So with the chariot card, I'm getting this energy of cancer is so ready to move forward. You're already moving forward for a lot of you um, moving forward in your career, moving up in your career. Some of you may think that you're not moving up, but if you realize that all of the responsibilities that you have right now are setting you up for success with this and you really ground yourself You'll see that this hangman is really a blessing in disguise. Wow. So, wow, this is a theme, okay? I told the other signs this for this month. This is the theme for August because with the Six of Cups, it's just like, it's that... It's the residue of Mercury retrograde. It's like everybody wants forgiveness and kind of want to, you know, apologize for going ghost and all this kind of stuff. It's just cancer. Just like Pisces. Y'all just like for what? For what? Like, what's the point? Like, I'd have no time to waste, especially with cancer being the north node right now and Capricorn, Capricorn being the south node. And it's right now, it's like you're an alchemist in concocting these energies of earth and water so that you don't really get washed up and washed away and feeling like you're drowning in this opposing energy you're really i'm surprised the temperance isn't here but to see the six of cups as well is also speaking to some of you are um some of your student loans or loans are being forgiven um i'm getting debt is being replenished and that is your focus as well and you may have to look at your statements in a different way now. Look at how you spend. Look at your budget. Um, because you're ready to move forward. Some of you are ready to move. For others of you, you are forgiving maybe an earth sign. Maybe someone at work. Okay, well, there's the sun again. <laughs> and yeah, wow. <laughs> so whatever you're doing, <laughs> moving forward. Wow, I don't know what to say, Cancer. I mean, let that sink in. The Two of Cups and the Sun just popped out together. Let that sink in. Meditate on that. What does that mean to you? Okay, so I'm just going to leave that for y'all. I really am. We're going to clarify the past of the King of Wands. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And I'm going to leave that for y'all because the Sun card has been popping up. Okay, it's been popping up for at least, at least since May. Maybe before. But the time is here. It is Leo season. Mm -hmm. Going into the past, we have the Seven of Cups, which is clarifying the King of Wands. So, yes, whatever it was, this person um, focusing on the past, this person in your past, um, I'm getting that this this person is has a lot of options or they may think... <laughs> That they have a lot of options and in the past was really trying to juggle all of those especially while mercury was probably in cancer and their communication was probably not consistent at, at all um hence why you were kind of moved towards this energy of what's consistent what's stable 
what's real with this Queen of Pentacles. And with this King of Wands, someone could have been impulsive. Um, it's the King of Wands, but I'm getting this Knight of Wands energy mainly because they're looking into the past while they're in the past position. And then it's clarified by the Seven of Cups. So it's just like... They feel like they have a lot of options, emotionally confused, don't really know what to do. They probably also don't know how to handle this cancer energy that we just got out of. Cancer season and Mercury retrograde and cancer. So like feeling all of these emotions, but not really knowing how to communicate them, not knowing how to process them. And at the same time, Cancer's like, oh, I've been doing this. At the end of the day, I got to focus on what's, what makes sense, you know? And especially going into Virgo season. This is so exciting. I'm so excited. I, I leave that two cups in the sun alone. That's for y'all. That is beautiful. Beautiful. And I love that it's clarifying the hangman. Wow. Yep. <laughs> So clarifying the chariot, we have the moon and the will of fortune. So I'm getting that there's going to be success in this energy that you have and this desire to move forward because you're going about it in a very practical, responsible way. And with this full moon in Aquarius coming up, I'm getting that the wheel shall be turning for you with this will of fortune as well in the moon. And um, the moon also represents cancer, which is so so amazing to me because to have the chariot and the moon card together and the will of fortune that speaks highly if not specifically to the cancer north node okay so this is really really the time and i'm getting that you guys are also wanting to really reconcile not just your finances so that you can move forward and accept these blessings that are here for you but also just reconcile with the inner you with the child within you because i'm getting that there's either there is or there has been like some kind of disconnect between you feeling like you can make more you you feel like you can produce more financially and just overall and recently i was watching a short clip I believe on Instagram and um, for some of you who may know Judge Lynn Toller, I love her. I love her. And she was basically speaking towards how, you know, you kind of got to just love, love, love <laughs> on yourself and you got to put money in your own pocket. You can't be trying to put money in everybody else, uh, else's pocket and reconcile with yourself. Love on yourself. Take care of yourself because everybody else got theirs. It's time for you to get yours. And I, I was so appreciative. I love how honest and open she is. Um, I can't remember what her sign is. But yeah. So let's clarify this six of wands. I'm so excited, Cancer. <laughs> if y'all could just... Yeah, some of y'all could probably feel my energy. But yes, I'm so excited. Wow. Clarifying the six of wands, you have the magician card. I'm telling y'all are, are like an alchemist this month. For real. But I mean, <laughs> victory is literally yours because you manifested it. You're manifesting this. <sighs> I don't know what else to say, Cancer. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> wow. Um, I just feel this peace around me. I, just, I feel a breeze around me. I, I, I don't really have chills, but I just feel this peace around me and... I pray that this peace surrounds you and continues to surround you this month and moving forward, especially as the North Node um, continues to do its work in cancer. And you are like the ambassador of this North Node. Leo's like the co-ambassador because they have some insight on what it's like to have the North Node in their energy um, but no one knows what it's like to have Cancer North Node. You know, Leo knows what it's like to have Leo North Node. But Cancer North Node? Only Cancer. Only Cancer. Only Cancers that do the work. 
Mm-hmm. We have the page of wands. So I get that some of you are ready to take action. You very well could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, but I just get taking action on your creative ideas. And I'm so excited for you. So may peace and blessings be upon you all. And thank you so much. Take care.